one day, I was with my girlfriend. This is down in Florida. She took me to this place. It had all kinds of things growing. And she gave me something. It was a mushroom. She said, eat it. I said, a mushroom? What's that? She said, eat it. I didn't think nothing of it. You know, she was kind of a wild girl, you know. But I didn't think she was that wild. So I, I ate the mushroom. I said, no, it doesn't taste like much. She said, wait a minute. So I waited a minute. I waited a few minutes. And then the next thing I know, I was walking on clouds. They were beautiful clouds. And my girlfriend was talking to me. I was walking on the clouds and everything felt beautiful I almost felt like I didn't have any feet no floor under me it was beautiful we looked in each other's eyes on top of these clouds We're talking with each other, but our mouths weren't open. Then all of a sudden, she let me go, but I didn't fall. I floated. But I was farther away from her. Next thing I know, she wasn't there. And I was by myself. And I was on grass again. But it was very soft grass. And I walked through the grass. And everything seemed beautiful. I was one with nature. I saw another but it wasn't my girlfriend it was somebody else she was the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life and I don't know how it happened I don't even remember walking to her but next thing I know We were playing tongue hockey. I was kissing her, like really deep. And it was beautiful. My girlfriend was nowhere around and I didn't even care. It was the most beautiful experience of my life. And I never saw that girl again. never took a mushroom again. Walk
that I was caught with a dancing virus. I must have been something like 14. And it has left me since then. It was the ultimate feeling of happiness, of joy, of freedom, of inner expression. And I felt the music in a certain way that I thought, you know, this is crazy. This is inside my veins, inside my blood, inside my heart, inside my soul, inside my brains. And since then, every time when I go to a club, people think I'm going clubbing, but no. I'm going for a spiritual trip. I go to club like some people go to temples or churches or mosques. I just go to a club and dance all night. That is my way of prayer and meditation. Dancing is such an important expression of one's mind, one's body. Just the inner expression of what you feel and how you react to and how you react to the music. It's not, you know, back in the days I never used to listen to lyrics and, uh, you know, what the singer is supposed to tell me. I, I was purely listening to the rhythm, the groove, the beat. That was what was making me tick, you know. And uh, we would just dance all night long and just, you know, dripping wet from sweat. <laughs> and have the ultimate joy of, of movement and of expression and uh, you know dance is also very sexual it's a really sexual feeling you know when you get that feeling get the sexual healing well that is exactly what it's all about it's a deep experience or expression of oneself sort of lay your soul down on the floor that's all you do and uh, nowadays you see plenty of kids coming out and you know doing like things they see on MTV or in music videos and all that that's that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about the inner inner feeling you know not what you've seen and what you're trying to do but what do you feel? Just try to express what you feel, what is inside of you. How do you react to the music? How do you take it in? How do you feel the bass? How do you feel the kick? How do you feel the soul is? You know, this is... Well, I can't put it into words. It's something you have to experience. <laughs> <laughs> 